It's time for my 400th video special, Brawlers and Baku Crew members. That's right, it's BakuBrad96 here, and for the 400th time in this video, not only is it going to be a Bakugan Legends special, but I'm unboxing not one Fusion Bakugan, not two Fusion Bakugan, not even three Fusion Bakugan, no for all of your enjoyment, today I will be reviewing four Fusion Bakugan at once. I thought this would be a great idea or a great um, way to celebrate my 400th video upload. Um, I've been sitting on these legends for quite a while, and since everyone is finding Wave 2 now, I thought I better catch up, so I'm going to go ahead and review all of Wave 1. Um, again, everyone, I am very sorry. I haven't been able to edit my videos lately um, as much as I have wanted to. I am in the process of moving. The idea is for me to record just this week's worth of content uh, because the weekend coming up, I will be moving. So all of my studio, everything's got to get packed away. So that's why these videos haven't been edited out much like my starter pack videos have been. That being said, as soon as I am moved into the next place, you can all expect those videos to be edited out and a lot better quality, um, just like before. But with that being said, I do want to go ahead and start right in with the unboxings. Um, and I actually am going to start with the Dragonoid and Treteris. It is my least favorite out of the four, and I usually like to save my favorites for last. So before I begin, Give a like on the video for the channel mascot. We got Lightning Voltex over here, AKA Elemental Finica. And time to begin. So the one thing about these core fusion Bakugan that I have been seeing is it's a lot easier to fuse. So all of that fusion support that we got during the year of Armored Alliance and the uh, card set fusion force, all of that is more relevant now than ever before. But starting things off, here is the gate card included. Get that camera zoomed in. Um, it is one I have seen before, so nothing special. I don't want to spend too much time on that. I have a lot to get through in this video after all. But the Dragonoid is something I want to take a look at. Oh wow, they put a plastic strip on the Dragonoid X Treteris. So as I try to fold that out, there we go. Yeet some plastic away. And there is our bad boy. So I definitely love the addition of the black against red. It makes for epic contrast and it symbolizes the fusion of Darkest and Pyrus very well. So that is very awesome. I will get into that in a minute. But now, first off, it is the stats. So starting off, it looks like Dragonoid and Treteris this year. If I can get my camera to zoom, it won't zoom. There we go. Has double flaming fist, B power of 700 with one damage. And all it takes to fuse this Bakugan, that's right. No more using your energy. All you have to do is land on a red fist. And once you land on the red fist, you're going to be fusing into a Bakugan that has a B power of 1000, four damage, and built in reroll on a fusion Bakugan. That's crazy. But that is really cool. So my first time seeing that, a reroll on a fusion, or the fused side of a fusion Bakugan. That is really cool. Really epic artwork. Definitely digging the new Dragonoid and Treteris. Very nice. Figure-wise, he does look pretty simple. You know, it is the same uh, mold design as AA. Uh, just with the new colors, we have the Darkest and Pyrus faction symbol. We have some little wisp effect there. The B power, the arms painted along with the knuckles. And then the claws on the feet are even painted. Um, some design on the back of the tail, which is very nice. And even a new color like this dark crimson orange there. So a lot of color, a lot of detail. I love how the face came together with like the yellowish green eyes and a deep purple horn. That is really cool. So to fold up Dragonoid X Treaders, it is feet in, head in, I believe the wings, and then the fists. Yeah, wings and then the fists. 
and then the tail locks it all in place and there is Dragonoid and Treaderous. Such a cool fusion Bakugan. Definitely a lot better than the original and I will get the comparison videos out eventually but I wanted to do the unboxing videos all together first for the 400th video special so really cool. And I will save the rollouts until very last. I'll probably roll them all out together. Um, again, just to try to make the video more, um, I guess, enjoyable, at least as far as the time goes. So next up, I'm going to be taking a look at Pegatrix X Gillator. So really cool. Um, I believe the first year, so in Armored Alliance, this was released as a Pyrus and Chaos, being the original faction for it, I guess. Uh, sorry, stupid plastic strips. I had to kind of pull on that one, but here is the Pegatrix and Gillator. But yeah, oddly enough, I think the Pegatrix and Gillator was originally supposed to be Pyrus and Chaos, which makes sense. Gillator's base uh, faction is Pyrus and Pegatrix is being Chaos, but this year I've noticed that the character card is Arless, so it's an Arless Bakugan, which that is a difference. So here is the character card, Pegatrix and Gillator. Has a lineup of two Helix, B power of 300 with three damage. And once again, all you have to do to fuse the Bakugan is land on a Helix. Once fused, it has a B power of 700 with seven damage, which it's not very strong B power wise, but the damage is nice. And then Victor, so if you win the Brawl, you do get to remove an opposing Bakugan's Bakukor. Um, that does negate team attacks, domination, um, any kind of Nanogon plays or Bakugor, or Bakugan plays that revolve around having Bakugor attached. Um, this kind of negates those and works around those. Not a bad ability. Um, it's definitely not the best. I think there are a lot better core uh, abilities than the Victor take one away. Um, but still, it is definitely usable. And very artwork, once again, you know, it's very cool. Still not sure why they decided to go with an Arless Gillator, given its base, or its main faction should be Pyrus. Still don't know why they did this. I know Pegatrix um, and Gillator released in quite a bit factions during the original AA, or the original release of the fusions, I guess. But uh, yeah, interesting that Spin Master chose those two. So here's the gate card included. Once again, it isn't a new one, so I won't be spending any time on it whatsoever. I mean, anyway, like, you're probably all like me and you just want to see those new gate cards by now, right? But on to the new Bakugan. I have to say the colors are very nice. Um, just like I've said on other Legends Chaos Bakugan, I really like the new blue. It's not light, it's not dark, but it's definitely something. And then we have the sky blue for the faction symbols, the little wisps, accented nicely with this really deep, vibrant gold that just stands out so great on the Bakugan itself. There's the B power there on the neck. Minimal paint on the hind legs and tail. We do have a little bit of silver for the claws, as you can all see there, which is nice. The horn and eyes are even painted as well, so very nice. There's the peg holes for Baku gear and Nanogon. And then to fold Pegatrix, you just simply fold in the head and the, I guess, the tail leg part, like so. And then the last thing is the wings to fold it all together. And there we have Pegatrix X Gillitar. Once again, a beautiful, good, crisp design from Spin Master. Very nice. Next up. Is probably one of my favorites, but not my favorite of these four. It is Hydronoid X Cracklios. So, Spin Masters has something against bringing back my beautiful Hydronoid, but they brought back the fusion, so I guess I'll take it. A Hydronoid is a Hydronoid, no matter how we have to get it. So, let's take a look at how good this Hydronoid really is and yeet some plastic along the way. One thing to note is that Spin Master started putting plastic strips on the Fusion Bakugan and Core Bakugan. So be careful when taking them out of the packaging. No brawler wants a damaged Bakugan. That's no fun, right? Mm. 
Yeah, no brawler wants to damage Bakugan, but here we go. Here is the Hydronoid X Cracklios sporting the new color scheme. And I've got to say, the light and dark blue against that deep dark forest green is just really nice. And then you still have that limeish green and yellow to just kind of make everything pop and go together. Very cool coloring. But now then, on to the stats and character card, because for whatever reason, Bakukor are not included with these. So the gate card included is another one of Ajit, and, well, I think it's Ajit, 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 I, I don't, you know what, horrible pronunciation, and I am so sorry, but it does have Finica, and Finica is Bay. so really nice to have another one of these gate cards, but again, not new, unfortunately. Well, wonder what Spin Master's doing. Like, come on, can we get some new gate cards, please? Please, just, just a few. Or, really? Hashtag, we want cards in general. Gate cards, action cards, Ninogon cards, Bakugir cards, hero cards. All the cards. So, here is the new stat line for Hydronoid and Krakleos. Pleasantly enough, it is Aquas and... Wow. Spin Master literally just copied and pasted the uh, Aquas Hydronoid... CC like I'm almost positive hold on because this won't take a while I have the deck I was working on right here and oh I think I'm right so oh they did spin master you just copied and pasted the image look at that that is hilarious good old copy and paste right like image editing at its finest you just shrink the ultra art and you stick it in a new character card. Hilarious. Love it. Absolutely love it. But that funny little note aside, let's continue, shall we? So it looks like it is an Aquas Hydronoid and a Ventus Krakelios. A core lineup of two shields, B power of 500 with five damage. So even Steven, you could say. And then if it lands on a shield, you get to fuse. So these new Fusion Bakugan... Being able to fuse only by landing on a Baku core is insane. Like there is so much fusion fusion support in older sets. There's so many cores that are around fusion Bakugan. Like these fusion Bakugan are gonna blow up. And don't be surprised if you don't see them competitively in a ton of decks. You know, in local play groups, um, and just around. Because personally, I can't wait to start deck building with these things. They are beasts. But let's reveal that other side. So once fused, it has a B power of 1,010 damage. So hitting in heavy with that damage. Very nice. A B power of 1,000, you know, that's just honestly standard. So landing on a shield that gives Ventus and Aquas 400 or, you know, Aquas 400, um, you are going to get 1,400 B power, and that's a safe bet. Um, I know I say 14 to 15 is kind of like the standard, and it is. So Hydronoid and Krakleos is right there. But that 10 damage, that is insane. That's what I like to see. Like 10 damage on a fused Bakugan, that's powerful. But that is it for the stats. Very nice, I gotta say. Very, very nice. And it's so funny that they just took the, uh, the artwork and they just copy and paste it over. I'm sure they did that for all of them, but to me, it's a lot more noticeable with the Hydronoid Ultra. So moving on to the figure, just a little more detail here. Kind of threw in all of the tentacles, or at least that's what the bottom is supposed to be. And then we have all five heads of Hydronoid at the top. Very, very cool. And honestly, for this to be an Aquas base faction Bakugan, like it starts off as Aquas, they made the color palette green, so like they made it look more of a Ventus Bakugan than Aquas, much like how they made Pegatrix look more like a Chaos Bakugan than an Arliss one. So a bit confusing there um, as far as color choices, but I'm not complaining. They are still very awesome. So to close the Bakugan, all you have to do is kind of hold all the uh, little tentacles down at the bottom and then fold in the heads together like so. And I think I went out of order. Yeah, I went out of order because there's one little peg there. So these go in and then the uh, the sides. But other than that, it was right. There we go. And again, haha. -ha. Oh, nope, nope. Wait. Wait for it. It's harder than I thought. It's not clicking. Click together. Why won't you close? No. 
Well, that's a problem. Well, we're having some technical difficulties here. We will be right back momentarily. Uh, just joking. Obviously, I'm not going to turn off the camera. But I am concerned as to why this Bakugan will not close the right way. So it stays together when I uh, have the foot out like that. But when I try to put the foot under, it stays open. So I will work with this Bakugan uh, off camera a little later on. But for now, here is Hydronoid and Crackelios closed. Has such a very cool design. And as it stands right now, a little bit of Alto Bronte's disease because of this little piece. Um, but that might be just unique to my figure. Could be just a little defect. I don't know. I will work on it later on. But still, very strong Bakugan. Very nice design. Um, sometimes you just have to work out the kinks of the packaging. Because most of the time... The packaging is what messes up the Bakuyan. Spin Master does a great job otherwise. So, very nice. But, I only have so much time, and there's only so many Bakuyan to review. On to the last one, and this one is my favorite. Don't let the packaging fool you, even though it says Pyrus and Darkus right there on the side. This is actually a Darkus and Chaos fusion, which is like my two favorite factions of the game. So to have a fusion that is Chaos and Darkus is awesome. Um, Scorpros and Cyndius, not necessarily my favorite, but it is just because of the faction combination compared to the others. So time to dive right in, yeet some paper, rip this Bakugan open, and get right into it. And it looks like Spin Master is going to be reusing gate cards all year long. And it's okay. I'm not going to knock them for it. But some new ones would be nice to see by now. I think it's been since Geogun Rising we haven't had any new gate cards. And that's like three years now. So if this year they don't have any new gate cards, it's going to be three years of the same gate cards over and over again. And that could potentially be a problem. But um, maybe I'm the only one who cares about gate cards. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below, like, do you care about new gate cards? Does it matter to you guys? Like, what do you all want? That, that's that's what I want to know. So, here is the Cyndius and Scorpros. Obviously, Chaos and uh, Darkest, but it does say Pyrus, which is hilarious that the Pyrus symbol is on it. But if you look at the character card, which I will review, it's clearly Chaos. So, showing the stats, Cyndius and Scorpros is a double blue shield, B power of 700 with 1 damage, not bad. And then if you land on a blue shield, you get to fuse. So, once again, landing on Bakakor to fuse is so smart. That's how it should have been to begin with. And I'm so glad that Spin Master changed it up um, to make it so. Um, once fused, Cyndius x Scorpros has a B power of 800. 6 damage, so pretty solid. I mean, the B power is a little weak, but if you land on a 650 blue shield, you know, you're going to have 1450, and I think that's the whole point. 6 damage, very nice, and built-in reroll on a fusion Bakugan. Come on, it doesn't get any better than that. Definitely like that design. Um, the artwork is epic. In fact, I haven't talked about it that much, but all of the artwork on the character cards has been really nice. Um, once again, though, copy and pasting. I see what they're doing now. They're just copy and pasting off of the other cards onto each other. And that, I mean, that's cool. But it's just so much noticeable with that Hydronoid Ultra. Anyway, really cool stats. And, and reroll on Fusion Bakugan. That, that's pretty strong. Like, that's just really strong. But here is the figure itself. So, a ton of detail, you know, some pretty good paint work. We have that deep midnight purple again, which I just really like that on the new Platinum Neo Neleus. Um, really, all the new Darkest Bakugan are just looking epic with the new color scheme. The same for the head, and then we even have that light blue for the little visor. So a ton, ton of color on this Bakugan that you wouldn't believe. The light pinkish lavender wisps. Some silver for the armor plating. White around the shield. White for the sword and white for the tail. Just really nice contrast there. So to close this Bakugan, you're going to fold in the feet, little arms and head. The tail kind of tucks in as you slide everything back. And there is Cyndius and Scorpius all closed up. Very nice Bakugan, probably the smoothest out of all of them. 
tight fit, no looseness, no Alto Bronte's disease whatsoever. And that is it for the review. So now that all four have been reviewed, I definitely want to get a, a little shot of the rollout. Um, they didn't come with Baku Core, so I won't be able to make a big matrix. Instead, I'm going to be using the gate cards. It kind of ensures that I land the roll without throwing a bread for five minutes. And that's what it's called. Whenever you miss a roll, remember everyone, I want that to stick on. It is throwing the bread. Compliments of Baku Bread. Starting off with the Dragonoid and Treaderous, the rolling arrow is right. The rolling arrow is right there. So here we go. We'll start things off. One, two, three, brawl, and we got one to stick. Better adjust the camera a little bit, right quick. There, there we go. And now it's time for the little janky crackleos that I will fix later on. And there was a stand, so we got both of those two to stand. That's pretty good magnets. Um, I want to say that they could potentially double core, and it can. So Hydronoid can double core. Pretty cool there. Let's try the Drago and Tret. It can also double core potentially as well. Oh, a little looser of a magnet, though, as you can all see, it picks it up, but just barely. I guess it depends on how it's positioned on the Baku core. Now for the last two, we have the Pegatrix. Ooh, through the bread with Pegatrix, not good. There we go, that was a much more redeemable rollout and very nice. And now last but certainly not least, it is the Scorpros and Cindius, my favorite out of all four. And you couldn't just land, no. Oh, almost wrapped around and, and, and stood, but not quite. So we'll try it again. One, two, three, brawl. And again, through the bread. So I got the first two, but through the bread with the last two. What a shame. Let's go ahead and add another gate card there to, to show the misery of me failing even more. Oh, geez. Come on. See, see five minutes of miss rolling. This is why I don't do brawling videos, because it would literally be ten minutes of that. Or this. Or that. Okay, Cindius does not open. Note to self. Alright, so for the sake of the argument, there we go. That works. That was just too much rolling, even for me. But there is my review of the Wave 1 Fusion Bakugan. Um, I am missing the Diamond, but the Elemental Nelius X Enoch video will be coming up very soon. Until next time, stay safe, drum up, and Bakugan Fuse.